Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I had this download on the way to the gym and I was like, this needs to be a podcast episode. This will probably be short and sweet, but I know that it's going to give you the kick in the booty that you are looking for and maybe even a little bit of tough love. So on the way to the gym, and I promise all of my podcast episodes are not going to be about working out in the gym and, and bikini prep bodybuilding life. However, what I have found is that a lot of what goes down in that world applies to content. It applies to building a brand. It applies to building a business. It applies to everything in life. And I have learned so many lessons from that experience. And of course I want to bring them to you because they roll over just like anything in our life. Right. And that was one of the reasons why I actually went down the journey of prepping for a bodybuilding competition was because I knew that the lessons and the evolution of who I became through the journey would roll over into every area of my life. So I am about uh, six to seven weeks post show and I'm in a season of preparing my body for my next show, but I'm not in a quote unquote prep, which means that I am in a season where I am not going to see the results from the work that I am doing for a long period of time. Like the work that I do now is going to show up in eight months, in 10 months, in 12 months. And so while I am taking these actions, it can feel rather frustrating because you don't actually see the results for a while, right? And one of my favorite quotes ever is the work that you do now always pays off later. And it's something that I had to remind myself of this morning as I was driving to the gym. I was thinking, oh my gosh, like I'm going to go and I'm going to do the same workout that I've been doing over and over again. And it kind of gets boring and you kind of got to find a way for you to stay in it so that you do not give up, so that you push and you give your all and you are 1% better every single day, even if you are not seeing the results that you want. And I couldn't help but think how we live in this Amazon Prime world where we want results tomorrow. We want to buy the thing and we want to get it tomorrow. We want to buy the thing and we want to see it in an hour. We want to go to the gym lift some weights and look like we have a six pack. We want to post one post on social media and have 10,000 people follow us. We want to post one post about our offer and have 30 people reach out to us. But the truth of the matter is, is that's just not the way that it works. And I got to thinking about this, about Amazon, because lately, I don't know about for you, but for me, Amazon Prime hasn't been priming. (laughs) I mean, I think it's ever since the pandemic that Amazon has been taking a little bit longer to deliver their packages. But even when I go to order something and it says it'll be here the next day, it oftentimes takes two or three days. And so I got to thinking about this and I'm like, well, if Amazon Prime can't even be priming, why are all of us expecting these results right away? You know, obviously making their promise to deliver these packages on a certain time or as quickly as possible was not sustainable for Amazon. So why would you think that it's sustainable for you to go after these results that you are expecting to achieve right away? It's never going to be that easy. And if, and even if the results were able to come in an hour or the next day or even a week, or, or you were to gain these results really quickly that you were looking for, they're not going to be sustainable and it's only going to leave you frustrated. I went through this in many seasons of my life, whether it had been with my health and fitness or whether it was with my business, right? We can try to push and make things happen and hustle our face off and sacrifice our life away to achieve these results. But the fact of the matter is, is they're not going to be sustainable for very long. So you're going to feel rather frustrated because you're going to have to continue to rebuild the momentum over and over again? What if we shifted our focus and we started focusing on laying the foundation for long lasting, sustainable results? What if we started focusing on the work that we do right now is the work that's going to pay off later? 
the foundation that we're laying now, the basics that we are perfecting is what's going to get us those long lasting, sustainable results. And one of the things that come from this, when we can step into this energy and we can reframe this is a regulated nervous system. And when you can have a regulated nervous system, you have more energy to give to your business, to your clients, to yourself, to your family, to your children. But when we are in this frantic energy of trying to get these results as fast as possible, as quick as possible, we feel defeated. We might see a little bit of results, but then we think, well, we can't ever do this. It's never going to happen because we're only focusing on what's right in front of us. How can we start focusing on the bigger picture? How can we start looking at the bigger vision? How can we continue to remind ourselves that the action and the steps that we are taking right now are going to pay off in three months, in six months, in nine months? How can we make these actions that seem so basic something that excites us? Something that we know that, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one foot in front of the other because I know that in a couple months that I'm going to see those results that I'm wanting and those results that I'm going to see are going to be sustainable. They're not going to be something that I have to recreate over and over and over again. And that actually is is also the foundation to an identity level shift, which I'm, I will get into in another episode. Stop focusing on those right now results. Start focusing on the bigger picture of perfecting the basics, doing what you can with what you have in this moment, because that work is going to pay off down the road. You have to keep going though. You cannot just simply give up because you're not seeing those results fast enough. So many people give up right before the results are about to happen. And I don't want that to happen to you. I hope that you enjoyed this podcast episode. Please don't forget that I am giving away three Dreamer Room journals. This is the journal that I created to help you activate your manifestations. It is one of my favorite things. I do it every single morning. If you watch my Instagram stories, you will see that journal on there. I'm going to be giving three of these away. The way that you enter into this drawing to receive this is to simply screenshot this episode post it in your Instagram stories, tag me in it, and leave a review on the podcast. So when you do one of those, either one, um, I'm going to put you into a drawing and I will be doing the drawing for the three Dreamer Room journals um, the second week of October. Again, thank you for your support. Thank you for listening. And I cannot wait to see you in the next episode.